Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm one of the artists with the Need to Good Design, and I'm here to give you a little behind the scenes look at how we made the Premium Edition Art Quilts Collection. When we came up with the Art Quilts Collection, we were actually coming up with just a mini quilt collection, and upon looking at some samples, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could just fold these in half and you could give them as greeting cards? So not only would you have a, a beautiful greeting card to give, but once your recipient receives the card, they could hang it on the wall and have a framed art piece. So what we did was we decided we were going to come up with a variety of different themes and then with each theme you had the opportunity to hang each quilt together within the theme and then it would make basically a three quilt tapestry. So what we did was between myself and our other artist Ginny we assigned all the artwork and we assigned theme by theme um, Christmas, marine life, holiday, birds, um, quite a few different types. And then what we were going to do was we were going to draw out the concept in a general layout so that it fit into a, it could turn into a greeting card as well as a quilt. And then we were going to have free motion stitching behind the characters inside of the quilt. So what I'm going to talk about now is one of the angels that I chose to do for Christmas. Um, for the Christmas concept for me, I chose angels because I knew that coming up with Christmas things, it was going to be very typical to do Santa Claus or snowmen or things of the sort. Uh, and I thought to all of our other collections and I realized that we only have one Angels pack and it's actually one of our older packs. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could make three Christmas angels for this pack? I'm going to show you how I, how I draw the design and then how I take it through to the computer so that I can color it and lay it out. So, here I started with a 6x10 piece of paper and um, I draw out the angel, give her, her all of her final touches. I try to make her look very beautiful and of course I have to make sure that these drawings will translate into embroidery. After drawing her with pencil, I'll take one of my thin markers and I'll go through and I'll trace the outline. Then what I did was once I had created the angel and I had set everything in place, with a pencil I decided to do the free motion stitching. I decided to use the pencil because unlike when you actually sew with a long arm quilter and you sew it, you stitch out the free motion sti stitching and you only have one chance to do it, I thought wouldn't it be nice if I could just erase it if I mess up. So I used a pencil. So what I did was I started at one end of the quilt and I just drew and I drew these little swirlies um, I drew these little swirlies so that I can mimic the swirlies that were in the the two lower corners and I like to make it so that my free motion goes with the design so that it is a cohesive design so then I went ahead and I finished up the drawing for the free motion stitching So, this is what my final angel looks like. Now all I have to do is give it to Amber, one of our graphic designers, and she'll scan it and put it on the computer for me, and then I'll show you how I colored it in Photoshop. So now I have this all scanned in and I can color it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the current layer and I'm going to multiply, or I'm going to duplicate the layer. Then when I do that, what I'll do is I will adjust the contrast, delete the layer on bottom, and I'll set this layer to multiply. What that does is it creates a mask of the top, so when I, I'm going to put a layer, another layer, underneath that. And then what I can do is I can go to the colors, and I can go to the paintbrush. And if you see, I'm going to demonstrate using this green, I can paint the angel and it will leave the black outline over the top of what I'm painting. So that makes everything a lot easier. Um, so now all I have to do is I use, I like to use swatches because they're the closest thing to um, what we have available for thread. 
and I'm going to decide the color scheme that I want for this angel. Um, I'm first going to paint the um, I think I'll paint the background first. What I have to do there is just paint it purple. Let's do a lighter purple. Mm, blue or purple. Alright, so to paint her skin, I just use the brush tool and I literally color it in just like you would a coloring book. texture through to the angel, giving her all of her little color details that I wanted. Um, now that it's all colored, send it to Steve and he'll digitize it. 